Welcome back to building a WordPress theme with Tailwind and underscores. Today we're going to go ahead and get our project set up and uh, our site running. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a terminal and log into MySQL. I'm going to log in as root. My root has no password on my local environment. And let's create a database. We're going to call it uh, Tailwind theme. All right, and that's all we need to do for that. Next thing, uh, we want to have the WordPress CLI uh, go ahead and download WordPress for us. Um, so let's go to WP Core. And in here you will see that we have a WP Core download. We give it a path. Uh, you can have some other optional attributes here like locale, version, force. All we're really going to need is the path. So uh, let's go into my projects directory where I just kind of keep all my coding projects. Do WP core download and the path is from where we currently are so we're currently in projects um, I want to call it uh, Tailwind WordPress so you can see I made a directory and projects Tailwind WordPress went ahead and downloaded the latest version 4.9.1 and installed it to that directory Okay, next step is we're going to need to open up that project in your editor. Uh, I'm using PHP Storm here. So go ahead and open. It's in my projects. Tailwind WordPress. Okay, now that the PHP Storm is loaded up, let's go into our folder here. And we're going to look for WP Config Sample. Uh, so this is our configuration file here. We're going to run a rename it and take the sample off so we just have wp-config.php we're going to enter in our database name here which was tailwind theme username is root for my environment I have no password localhost is fine last thing we want to do in here is scroll all the way down to the bottom and we want the debug to be true. We don't want that to be true in a production environment, but for testing and building, uh, it's really good to have this here so we can we can find our mistakes. All right, next thing we want to do, I want to go back to our terminal. Let's uh, change directory into our Tailwind WordPress directory here that we just built. We have our WP config that we we're just editing here. And let's uh, let's get the site running. So let's type wp server, and that'll start a server on localhost 8080. So let's go ahead and uh, go there now. All right. So it looks like it's all working. So let's uh, step through here real quick. We want English site title. Let's call it Tailwind theme. That's fine. Username will be cperco. I'm just going to make my password password. Set my email address here. And let's install. If all goes well here, we will have WordPress fully installed and running locally. All right, so we're good. Let's go ahead and log in. Username is cperco. My password was password, super secret. We have our dashboard. Let's go ahead and take a look at our site. So it's running the uh, 2017 theme here, um, but we want to build our own theme. So let's go back to our terminal. I'm going to open up a new tab here. And let's scaffold out a new underscores theme, which we can do with the WP scaffold command. Check out this first one here, WP scaffold underscore S. Underscore S is the underscores starter theme, and that's exactly what we want. All right, the slug will just be the, uh, the folder name we're gonna name it. So if you look here in our files, we have WP content themes 2015, 2017, 2016, so I'm going to call it uh, Tailwind Theme. That's going to be our name of our folder. I'm going to go ahead and activate it to make it our currently active theme. Let's give it a theme name of Tailwind Theme. We'll come up with something more clever later. Uh, author. 
and author URI will be my website there. And go ahead and hit enter. And we now have a theme, and we've also switched to the Tailwind theme. So if we go back to our web browser, go ahead and hit a refresh, we have this beautiful theme here. Um, you can see that underscores gives us everything we need to get started with, with actually theming our site without having to build in all the code to grab the posts and the sidebar and the header and everything. Back in our admin panel, we can go to the themes page here, and you can see we have the active Tailwind theme with no image here. All right, so we were able to get WordPress started locally and created a new underscores theme, and we are ready to start next episode.